Hi again, YouTubers. So this is a little review that I decided to kind of jump on spur of the moment and do for the Milk Makeup Weekend Lash Stain. This is what the packaging looks like. It is a nice tube. It pulls out with the brush that comes out with it. It is a tiny, tiny, tiny bristled brush that is really, really, really quite coated with product. And uh, this whole tube is, how many ounces? 0.48 ounces. The only place I know of that you can purchase this is through Sephora. Um, someone had asked me to give a couple different milk products a try. And with that, I kind of looked around on Sephora's site with the VIB sale a while ago and said, okay, what are some items I would like to try? So I decided to give this one a try. Now I will insert a clip here of how I apply it. I do apply it to, let me think about this, this eye, um, using it the way they suggest on Sephora's site by Milk, which is to pull the actual wand out and kind of actually go through and kind of wipe off the wand before applying it to your eye. And then I apply it to my other eye just without doing that so you can kind of see where the differences are. Um, the one where I wipe the wand off is much more voluminous and much more noticeable. Um, this is not something that is like a mascara that you are looking for that is going to give volume or length or any of those things. This is just a lash stain that does a little bit of kind of separating, but it does a lot of clumping too. The product itself is very, very, very wet. And you know it's really wet if even on their description of how to use it, it says wipe off the brush before you apply it. Um, <clears throat> I don't really know what the thought process with that is, but I will say the eye that I wiped a lot of the product off first versus the eye that I do not did not, the eye where I wiped a lot of it off on the tube first versus the one where I didn't, uh, the one with the wiped off area first is definitely more separated and not as heavy, as silly as that sounds, whereas the one where I did not wipe it off is very heavy and is not lifted even though I curl the lashes first. Let me give you a little bit of what they say it is a rich waterproof two day stain that defines and lengthens lashes. Um, okay. Yes, it stains your lashes. Yes, it lasts about two days. And I will go through and give you a little bit more of an explanation of that. It, to me, it doesn't really define my lashes or lengthen them. Um, I find there are way better options out there for that. The only thing I find this really does is stain your lashes. It says what it does, specifically formulated mascara stain stays flawless after swim, shower, rainstorm, or cry. High-tech polymers provide smudge resistance for weekend long wear, and the formula is infused with vitamin B5 for added conditioning. The fine bristle brush applicator works to coat the lashes evenly from the root to tip in an effortless look with zero need for touch-ups. Now, the first time I tried this, I was super excited because I have very, very blonde lashes, and that is one of the things that I dislike about just throwing on a quick CC cream or something like that because I can't really do that. I have to throw on a CC cream and then still throw on a mascara because otherwise my eyes just get lost. I have blonde lashes. You can't see anything and it just gets lost and recesses back and it looks really bad. It makes me look kind of sick a little bit. So I have had my lashes before. I have gone professionally and had my lashes tinted. That usually only lasts for me, I'd say, about a week um, and it's definitely much more expensive. This is $22 and you're going to get multiple, multiple uses out of it. Um, I definitely think that it does stain your lashes and it does give you that look of just a darker natural lash. This is not something, as I was saying, that is mascara-like. It is not something that just is going to be everything you want in one. Um, this is today, I have mascara on after it. They do suggest they sell a mascara as well that you can use afterwards. I just used my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir afterwards. It works fine. Uh, the key part is because it does clump so much, you have to go back through with that brush I showed you, the Real Techniques brush. It's um, It's got a, almost like a pin-sided comb and really separate it out. I'm sure you could use a spoolie, but have a feeling it's not gonna work the same. Um, it really has to be separated before you put another mascara on after it. Um, now, is it smudge proof, water resistant, all of those things? I will say this time I put mascara on afterwards because I was taping the video and it looked kind of just not as defined as I wanted. However, I did try it a few different times first 
on a weekend with just putting that on um, when I didn't have a lot going on. So I put it on in the morning. I brushed it out, you know, the tube, I rubbed it off on the tube and then I combed it out afterwards. And my lashes definitely looked black and they looked very natural. And I loved it. I washed my face that night. I used my Bioderma on my eyes and then I washed my face with my face cleanser. I noticed a slight bit, the Bioderma, I didn't notice any transfer when I used that. So I didn't, that did not remove it, which is good because you want it to be somewhat, you know, water resistant and all of that. And then I washed my face and I didn't rub any of the soap on my eyes. I just washed around my eyes and I didn't notice any smudging or any, you know, transfer or things like that. Then I went to bed. The next morning I woke up thinking, oh great, my lashes are still gonna be dark and perfect and all of this. They were dark. And if I was doing something like going to the beach for the summer, this would be perfect for that because I just kind of had a nice darkness to my lashes. They looked more like someone that has really dark hair with naturally dark lashes. That's what it looked like. Um, however, this is the key. However, I did have a ton of transfer after the night under my eyes. Now, was that the eye cream or was that the fact that my eyes being closed, it transferred? I'm not really sure which one of those it was. Now, that's good and bad because I got up, I took a little bit of um, makeup remover around my eyes. The Bioderma was the one I used and it worked under my eyes this time. Again, it could have been the eye cream helping that. I took it on a Q-tip and I removed it under my eyes. I could have thrown on like a CC cream and just gone for the day if I was going to something like the beach or doing things like that. Um, so I do think it is water resistant, not waterproof. Uh, I do not, it's smudge proof during the days. Like if I had touched my eyes or things like that, it wasn't coming off of my hands, it wasn't flaking, it wasn't transferring. But I don't think it's smudge proof because when I'm sleeping at night, I get smudges under my eyes. So, um, it's kind of a hard description. Now, one thing I will say that people mentioned, there were like a ton of reviews on Sephora and it only had like two and a half stars, maybe three, I think, I forget. I know it was lower than what I would typically buy a product for, but a lot of the reviews also mentioned the key to this is only do one coat. Now you saw when I was applying it, I kept having to go over it to try and separate them out. But if you just kind of, I think they mean like don't do one coat, let it dry and then do another coat because the way I've been doing it, it's been working really fine. Now, if you are going to wear it all day and maybe get ready at night and then put mascara on, that's a great way to do it. I just find that yes, it will get me two days. It'll get me through the day I'm wearing it and it'll get me through the day after. Um, as I said, this is going to be an awesome thing for the summer at the beach you just throw it on real quick in the morning. Well, not real quick, trust me, right? It was not real quick, it was a process. But once you get it on, it'll get you through that day. You can throw some mascara on that night and then the next day your lashes will still have a tint to them. Um, if I had an option only between two things of whether I use this or I went and got my lashes tinted, I would probably use this because the lashes being tinted was more expensive. It was probably, I think if I remember correctly, it was $25 but it only got me through five days. This gets me through two, but there's tons, I mean, there's probably hundreds of applications in this, you know what I mean? Because you don't need much of this product at all. So I think it's a great concept. I think the brush and the amount of product on it is the main issue with this product. Um, the smudging, I can deal with that, but what a great product for the summertime when you're at the beach, at the pool, and you're just looking for more of that natural look. So with that, let me give you my breakdown. Pigmentation on this, it is truly black. I will say that for it. It is 100% black, it is true to color, it stays black, and it does a really good job with the pigmentation. So it's a five out of five. Texture on it, the texture is very, very, very wet. I think I mentioned this earlier. It is crazy wet, and you really need to go through with a comb afterwards, otherwise, it's just gonna be gloppy and messy. It's just a strange texture to it. It's, it's a three out of five. Longevity, I think it does last well. I think the smudging underneath is a little bit of an issue, but what do you expect? It's not gonna be a perfect stain. Um, so I think it's a good four out of five. Application, this is tough. Like you gotta wipe the brush off. You have to 
only do one coat you have to comb through it afterwards there's just the and then you have to make sure you're not like you know what i mean sneezing blinking anything like that where it's going to transfer so I think application's pretty bad. It's a two out of five. Um, packaging, I think the packaging's cute. I like the name of milk on it. I like the tube. I like tube mascaras. I think the packaging is really cute. The gray and white, it's simple, it's easy, and it's cute. So packaging, I think, is a good solid four and a half out of five. Color, you can't really rate a color on this because there's only one color black. Um, price, $22. Um, like I said, you're gonna get a lot, a lot, a lot of applications out of this. So it's kind of half dozen one, half dozen the other. So I think price is kind of a four out of five because you are gonna get a lot of uses out of it. Product overall on this, this is truly like almost the middle of the road. Like this is a three and a half out of five because it does stain your lashes, it does give you the two days, but there are so many downfalls to having to work with this. You really have to decide whether you wanna put the effort into it or would you rather just try again on the next day? You know, half dozen one, half dozen the other. I personally, in the summertime, a lot of times do lash extensions because of the same reason I was talking about. I was hoping that was gonna resolve that. This was going to resolve that for this year for me, but I don't think it will. But I think this is great for those in between when I kind of might need it. And if you are not somebody that wants to go through the process of lash extensions in the summer, this might be a great idea. It just depends. Would you rather put the work in ahead of time with having to apply this and then clean it up the next day and having that tinted lash or would you rather just put mascara on that's a waterproof mascara wash your face at night and then put it on again the next day I guess you have to make the call on that really so i hope you guys found this review helpful on the milk makeup weekend lash stain and what else i am wearing on my face is what do i have on today it cosmetics cc bronzer Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder to set that. Tarte CC Corrector Under the Eyes. MAC Pro Longwear Concealer Under the Eyes. To set that was Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I have on the Chanel Bronze Universal as my slight bronzer. Above it, um, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. What blush should I put on today? Oh, Peach Twist, MAC Peach Twist Blush. Uh, blink eyebrow mousse on my brows Kat Von D shade and light rust palette it's the four palette on my eyes with the hourglass uh, mechanical liner pencil the milk lash stain and then the Marc Jacobs velvet noir on my lips is a Mally lip pencil and then I have on the Sephora lip cream lip stain in peach heart I think or peach twist and then YSL oil gloss something on my lips I have on my little uh, charm necklace from Stella and Dot with I think I have a tea on it um, just a t-shirt from um, Chatham where our house is in the summer funny that I'm wearing that I have on my cage cuff my Arison stretch bracelet my David Yerman rings all my other stuff's the same my hair was curled in big chunks uh, with a new me 25 millimeter I think it is uh, wand and this is third day hair so I hope you guys enjoyed that please let me know if you have any other questions and thanks so much for watching guys have a great day bye